Hello, and welcome to another one of my videos. Today's video is going to be different than my normal videos in a couple different ways. The first is that there is going to be no incandescent light used in the production of this video. All of my lighting is LED or compact fluorescent, mainly LED uh, lighting now, and I want to see how that works out. And also, it's not electronics related. <laughs> the only thing electronics related about this video is the fact that it is still set up on my workbench. Um, as you can see, yep, still same workbench, scope, monitor, test gear. What I'm going to do today is a quick review of a product. Um, if you don't know, other than electronics, I'm really into weightlifting. And, you know, go to the gym five days a week at least. And uh, I've made some, good, some very nice progress with my lifting and such. Um, currently training for a powerlifting competition. But having done this for a few years, you end up with shaker bottles to mix your protein, your pre-workout, your post-workout, whatever. Even just use as a water bottle. And I've had several different types over the years, and they all have problems. The biggest problems with many of them are that they leak, they're very flimsy, and the tops don't fit well. Well, recently I was um, in Columbus at the Arnold Classic, or Arnold Fitness Expo, and saw these. They are called spider bottles. And they were on special, and I needed some anyway, and they were three for $15. Well, that's about the normal price you'd pay for a cheap one. Um, one of the big problems with mixing proteins and such is that you need something to kind of mix it up. And if it's not, it gets clumpy, it gets nasty when it hits the water. Well, there's several different ways to fix this problem. There is the, quote, blender bottle, which has a little metal uh, ball that rolls around inside when you shake it. There are other ones that have various types of tops, such as just like a grated top that uh, the water uh, or whatever kind of filters through as you shake it. They all have problems. The biggest problem with the blender balls, I had one, it was pretty nice, but that ball is easy to lose and then, well, your blender function's gone. Um, the great type ones never seem to mix very well because it doesn't let much water through to the top to do the mixing. Or if you try to filter the protein through, it's never, it just doesn't work. Well, that problem is solved by the spider bottle. And the way it does this is this cap which has the spring in the top and when it's set in the top you put your water in then you can even pour your protein or whatever in there's enough space that you could actually do that uh, and you put the top on and you shake as you can hear um, so and I've used it for about three weeks and uh, works really well for that. It mixes the proteins very well. This one is called the to-go. It also has two storage compartments that screw onto the bottom. And you can put your, say, your protein in here, your intra-workout in here, and then set up with your pre-workout in the top. Also has a very nice top cap, which closes very securely. And so far, I have not had it weak. I even did one of these with a full one, which you really shouldn't do. And it didn't pop open, but that was tempting fate. It comes in another model, which is called the, oh, let me pull it up here on the website. One second, I forgot it at the I forgot it. And this is called the, the Maxi. Uh, yeah, the spider bottle max sorry not maxi max and uh, it has the same 
shaker in the top of it, the same top. Um, it holds up to, it's measured up to 24 ounces, but holds up to 30 ounces. And this one obviously I haven't used. And this one I have. This one's also measured um, up to 20 ounces. So you have graduated measurements up to there in English and metric. The other problem I have with most shaker bottles is they're made in China, a really cheap, flimsy plastic. If you happen to knock it against something or drop it, they break. And since it's made in China, I don't care if they tell you they're BPA free or whatever. Um, I don't believe most of the stuff that I see on stuff made in China. Well, these are not made in China. Not that focus. Made in Germany. So, for my money, I like them. The website is spiderbottle.com. Not an endorsement, just a happy customer. Alright, that's it. Have a good day.